Yeah, drug trade in Shan State. It's like big business in Shan State, yeah? It's big business outside and inside. It, it's nothing. I manufacture an apatamine pill. It's only about one bar. No? It costs only about one bar. If you give me ten baht, I make nine baht profit. But if you only give me one, two baht, I, I make one baht profit. But out here, you can get hundreds of baht profit for just for one pill. It's big business, bigger business here. In Thailand? In Thailand. And elsewhere, in Austria, maybe in Austria. I heard that some went to Australia too. The biggest gang that is profiting from it is, of course, the military. The Burmese military is running the country on war's money. <laughs> That's what they say. Can you um, define their involvement for me? If you look at just the township across the border, it's called Mangdon. It's just across Chiang Mai. There the, we have the local commander. The local commander there is also the head of the drug cartel there. Their policy is right now to suppress all the small fish and just keep those owned by the allies. That's the war, of course, you do say. So they make the lives of the small fish very miserable and make a very big publicity out of it. Uh, catching this, catching people and then sending, sending them to uh, the state sentence like uh, two year, three year, twenty year imprisonment and so on. But the allies they have the refineries there. If I have, say, if I have, I'm a member of the cartel, I have manufactured some heroin, we can keep it in the local commands, command post. They have a warehouse there. From there, it can be transported either into Lower Burma or across the border. Sometimes they told me that even the small helicopters came and touched there and then at least twice a month they said. No. The, the helicopters come in and pick it up? Pick it up and then go and then flew, fly to Lower Burma. From Lower Burma where they go is you just can imagine, no? <laughs> but many some people thought think that uh, during the few months past, North Korean ships carrying heroin were uh, seized by Australia twice already now, and then many people w were wondering where did the North Koreans get the heroin. Because North Korea doesn't grow poppies. <laughs> War are in control of the most of the, the army, of course, but they, they they still have this problem of uh, feeding, equipping them, and clothing them. And the War are not really. They don't really have this business acumen, and they don't have the network either. Some of the War leaders may be rich, but not but most of them are not.